A super taster is someone who tastes the constituents of flavours and food more intensely than um, someone else. So they taste sweet food as much sweeter, they taste bitter foods as much bitter. One way to tell if you're a soup taster is go off and take a slice of cucumber and bite into it. If you find that it tastes really, really bitter, then you're most likely a super taster. However, if you think it tastes just like the glass of water, then you're probably a non-taster. We all know that we should be reducing our fat intake, increasing our fruit and vegetable intake, but not many of us follow it. So understanding how factors influence food choice will allow us to actually hone in on those individuals who are making the bad food choices and see is there a real reason why they're not making those. And if we can understand this, then we can maybe better target our health eating messages to individuals to try and help them make uh, better food choices in the future. This kind of project is very exciting because it's part of the whole new area of nutrition and genetics which is a really, really novel area of nutrition and public health. And what we're trying to do is trying to understand the individual's genetic variation that might influence things like food choice or their risk of a particular disease, etc. And it's an area we are calling personalised nutrition. I was hoping in years to come that we might be able to give individual advice to people to say you need this amount of a particular nutrient or this amount of a particular vitamin etc to make sure that they can eat to their optimum health. We know that the diet of the Irish population and that the global population isn't as good as it should be. We have increasing obesity, we have increasing early onset of diabetes, we know people aren't consuming enough nutrients and we know people aren't consuming enough proper fruit and veg etc and things like that. What we want to do is to really be able to understand the full understanding of why people choose different foods. And if we can understand this, then we can actually be able to tailor our advice so that people might listen to us a little bit better, so that they may have a reason for their own personal optimum health to be able to choose the foods that suit them better. We have nutritionists working along food scientists, working along geneticists, and we have some state-of-the-art equipment here in, within UCD to help us look into the interaction between diet and disease. So we can look at how the different genes are expressed in different types of disease, we can look at how different proteins are expressed, and we can look very, very detailed information at individual level. And together we can work on projects that can look at the wider picture and give us a better understanding rather than one person looking at a very detailed um, individual uh, question within a lab. I'm absolutely fascinated by the interaction of nutrition and genetics. Understanding how these variations um, influence both food choice and how we metabolise food etc will allow us in the future to give really really good detailed advice and I hope reduce the risk of particular types of diseases and also possibly create new and exciting foods that could allow us to tailor foods towards particular people with particular genetic variations. So in the future you'll see personalised nutrition everywhere and UCD is part of that.